How are we doing today guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today I have from Chicken Fried Toys their Dime Novel Legends. This is the Weird Western Tales line that they are doing. The Crash Site Intruder Radioactive version. So as you can tell it's kind of a, a gray style alien but this one is in green with the, the bulbous head and the large eyes and no mouth does have some brief information here on the back about the figure. This is really kind of cool. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really looking forward to see if we can't get these staples popped. So this one here is just comes, you know, baggied. No, no fancy packaging or anything like that, which I'm a okay with this weird line or this weird what was it weird western tales they have slated quite a bit of figures for this line that i am super excited for i think they've announced a wendigo a, a bigfoot a yeti a chupacabra they have a werewolf that they that they've shown off pictures of which is absolutely awesome and they even have some um jackalopes in several different colors and designs that they plan on doing some of them with some very great homages to different fandoms let's go ahead and dump this out let's take a look at this little note here real quick okay so this one is talking about do not force joints it does come with a little warning saying that you might need to warm up the figure a little bit um in avoidance to breaking it Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it does feel like it has a single ball joint neck. It does have the, the mid chest swivel. And then oh, let's let's be super careful here. So the shoulder articulation is is really nice looking. And then he does have some really good elbow articulation. Oh, he has full on wrist rockers too. So I'm going to be very careful with this guy because I haven't had a chance to like heat him up or like break or break loose any of the joints or anything. Single joint knees, which is pretty decent. You know, he's a he's a relatively smaller figure for 118 scale, and then just your standard uh, what ball joint ankles. So I'm really digging the looks of this guy, and I really really like his alien blaster. Um, it really reminds me of a certain post-apocalyptic video game that has aliens that appear in it every once in a while. It, that blaster really, really reminds me of that particular franchise, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. Really dig that blaster. Really digging this alien. I, I'm excited. I believe um, the owner, designer, uh, idea man, whatever you want to call him, behind... The Alien for Dime Novel Legends has mentioned that they are going to be doing several different color of aliens. So this is just their first sample of the, the radioactive. And here, real quick, I actually want to do a size comparison. So I have with me a Marauder figure as well as a Boss Fight Studio Series Z. So as you could tell right there, this figure actually... Oh, let's see if I can't get that... So he is actually quite a bit smaller than the the standard human figures, which I think is really cool. It's a really nice touch to to go ahead and do that. I think Let's see if we can't get that back mounted in. Another thing I want to take a look at here real quick. 